So now it's time to work on the front end. We need to create our uh, main page. And to create our main page, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to divide the page into three sections. The header, the, con the content, and the footer. Why am I doing this? The reason is because the header and the footer will be the same for all pages. Therefore, we don't need to create the header and the footer every time we create a new page. We can create the header and the footer once, and then we can use these two files. We can create them in separate files, and then we can use these files in every page we create later. So how can we do all of this? How can we create all of this? Well, as I told you earlier, Blade will, Blade will let us do this. Blade is super powerful and will let us do that. So first of all, in the views, what we need to do is that we need to create a new folder. And then that folder, I'm going to name that folder Layouts. And then this folder will contain the files that I talked about. It, it's going to contain the header and the content or the main and the footer. So here in the uh, Layouts, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new file and then I'm going to name it header.blade. Dot .php and I'm going to create also a new file called footer dot .blade dot .php and in the header I'm going to here type just for now I'm going to add h1 and then I'm going to say header just to show you how the structure is going to be and the footer I'm going to also add here h1 and then I'm going to say footer and I'm going to also create a file here in the layouts called main.blade.php. And this main.blade.php, what's going to do is that it's going to import the header and the footer. So here, to import the header and the footer, we say in Laravel, we say at, and then include, and then we include the file that we want. So the file that we want is the header, which is inside the layouts. So here I'm going to say layouts dot header and we don't type the extension we don't say that blade that php and we also need to include here include and then footer layouts first layouts because we want to access the layouts folder and then dot footer which is the file and then in between in between the header and the footer we want the content so the content in order to inject a content here we use what's called at yield and then the name of the yield here the name of the uh, of the the thing that you want to inject I'm gonna name it content content so what yield is basically this yield would let us inject content between the header and the footer so whenever we use this main.blade.php later we can inject whatever content we want so let me now save and let me create our main page. So this is again, this is the structure, header, footer, and the main. So the main contains the header and the footer and the content. Now in the views, not in the layouts, in the views itself, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it index.blade.php, which is going to be our first file. And this index.blade.php is going to extend the main.blade.php because the main now, the main, contains the header, it contains also the footer, and it contains the content that we can inject, the area where we can, con content, we can, uh, where we can inject the content. So here in the index.blade.php, in order to import the main.blade.php, we don't say at include. Instead, we say extends because we use extends because we want to inject here the content. So we extend the main.blade.php because we want to use it and, and uh, inject things to it. So we extend it. So I'm going to say here extends and then layouts.main. We extend the main. And then in order to inject something here between the header and the footer, we use what's called section. So here I'm going to say at section and then the name of the section is going to be content because remember in the main.blade.php we have named it content we have named the yield content so the section is going to be also content and then here we need to say at end section and then between this section and end section we can inject our html code 
So here I'm going to say h2 and then I'm going to say our content. Finally, we need to return or take the user to the index.blade.php. So in the in the web.php, instead of taking the user to the uh, welcome, I'm going to take the user to the index, which is our main page. Now if you save everything and head on over to the browser, guess what? Let me refresh and show you what's going to happen. So as you can see, what happened is that now we have the header, we have the content, and we have the footer. And our code now, our view now is very, very organized where it's going to help us a lot later and we don't have to repeat ourselves. And the, uh, the process of debugging our code or adding or editing our view is going to be super simple.